We have another adjective here too though. Where do we see another word describing a noun? Ashley? Foul, excellent. And what is foul describing? The magic, yes. I chose to nominate Kristen yeah. because she came to us wanting to work with students who had barriers to overcome, um, obstacles that kept them from being successful. And that was what she stated in the job interview. And since she's been with us, that's exactly what she does every single day. I love the ability to help students do things that they didn't think that they could do. Crossroads is special because we strive to provide academic intervention for students who struggled with test scores or grades or attendance um, and usually all kinds of difficulties outside of school. I love the opportunity to provide restorative circles, to provide a safe space, to provide food, to provide the needs that our students need to be successful and to believe in themselves again. You're partially there. Unchanged is describing minds, but were their minds unchanged? Or how were their minds unchanged? Or how long were their minds unchanged? Miss Nelson is a very outgoing teacher. She cares about everyone, and she tries her best to make everyone successful. If it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't be on track to graduate this year. What I've learned from Miss Nelson basically was respect and always listen from the heart and always be open to experience new things and to just follow my dreams. Band boys, have you done this before in English? I'm doing this with my seniors with their bridge project. If you combine two sentences using fanboys and a comma, it would be a coordinating conjunction. My students inspire me. I love them. I am so impressed with their resilience. They have endured unbelievable things. People talk about grit, um, but they are not people in the classroom. Our students could not be any more determined or any more perseverant or any more resilient, and they are already doing great things and are going to go on and do even greater things.